Hi, it's Katrina. Some of the most magnificent marine vessels are longer than skyscrapers and can haul tens of thousands of cargo containers, while others can accommodate more passengers than an average American town. Here are eight of the largest ships in the world. Number 8. MV Mont the oil supertanker MV Mont was classified as an ultra-large crude carrier, or ULCC. Throughout its years in service, it has had several names. Originally called the Sea Wise Giant, the ship was built by Sumitomo Heavy Industries Limited in Japan between 1979 and 1981. It was the world's longest ship, measuring 1,504 feet long and 226 feet wide. With a fully loaded displacement of 724,329 short tons, it was also among the heaviest ships in the world, and it was so big that it was incapable of navigating through the English Channel, the Suez Canal, and the Panama Canal due to its size. In May 1988, during the Iran-Iraq War, the Sea Wise Giant sank in the Strait of Hormuz following an Air Force attack. It was salvaged and repaired and returned to the seas as Happy Giant under the ownership of packaging company Norman International. In 1991, Norwegian ship owner and sports official Jorgen Jare purchased the vessel and renamed it Jare Viking. When the Norwegian shipping company First Olsen Tankers Limited bought the ship in 2004, it became Nock Nevis. It's had some pretty cool names, hasn't it? Amber Development Corporation purchased the vessel in 2009 and renamed it MV Mont prior to its final journey to Gujarat, India in December of that year. That was its final voyage. When it got there, the ship was beached and scrapped. Its life of adventure was over. Number 7. MSC Gulson At 109 feet high, 1,312 feet long, and with a beam measurement of 201 feet, the MSC Gulson is the world's largest container ship. It's owned by the Mediterranean Shipping Company and went into service in July of this year. The ship has a 23,756 TEU, or 20-foot equivalent unit carrying capacity, meaning that it can transport that many 20-foot-long containers. To give you an idea, moving that much cargo by other means would require 1,358 Boeing 747 airplanes, 44 8,000-foot-long trains, or 14,072 heavy trucks. In just one voyage, the Gulson can carry millions of appliances such as microwaves and washing machines, 47,512 cars, and 386 million pairs of sneakers, among other things. Perhaps what's most impressive about this gargantuan ship is its environmental performance. Sustainability was a key aspect in the designing of the Gulson, which boasts an impressively low carbon footprint. The vessel is making international headlines as it passes through various ports and canals throughout the world. On August 12, the Gulson transited the Suez Canal for the first time. In early September, it arrived in the port of Rotterdam. From there, it departed for Malaysia. A few days later, the ship arrived in the UK port of Felixstowe before heading back toward the Middle East. And now for number six, but first I wanted to give a quick shout out to Anthony Slaga and Jacob Schweitzer for supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you get notified of the latest videos. Number six, USS Gerald R. Ford. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the US Navy's largest and newest aircraft carrier. It's the first of the Ford class carrier fleet, which are more technologically advanced than the previous Nimitz class carriers and offer significant performance improvements. Gerald R. Ford is the world's largest aircraft carrier and the largest ever warship in terms of displacement. Altogether, the ship can house 75 aircraft and is 134 feet tall, with a 1,092-foot-long, 256-foot-wide flight deck. Ooh, that's a lot of numbers! The vessel is equipped with multiple short-range anti-aircraft and missile systems called Sparrows, as well as rolling airframe missile systems. There are multiple other weapons aboard, including closed-in weapon systems. Gerald R. Ford is powered by two nuclear reactors and can reach speeds of over 30 miles per hour. Additionally, some of the mechanisms that were previously powered by steam now run on electric. One thing the Gerald R. Ford doesn't have is urinals. Why? Because all of its bathrooms are gender neutral and contain sit-down toilets and stalls. More comfortable. Construction began in August 2005. The ship was laid down in November 2009 and christened in November 2013. In May 2017, Gerald R. Ford was delivered to the Navy, and in July it was formally commissioned by President Donald Trump. Gerald R. Ford is expected to depart for its first deployment in 2022. Number 5. The Symphony of the Seas 
Owned by Royal Caribbean, the 228,081-ton Symphony of the Seas is the world's largest cruise ship. It's nine stories tall, 1,188 feet long, and over 215 feet wide. Unlike giant freighters that are designed to hold as much cargo as possible, bigger isn't always better when it comes to cruise ships. Royal Caribbean CEO Michael Bailey stated in a 2018 interview with Business Insider that when they set out to design ships originally in the concept phase, they don't get caught up in size. The most important thing is the concept. Still, the Symphony of the Seas, which debuted in 2018, is impressive in its own right. It holds up to 6,680 passengers and has 22 restaurants, 42 bars and lounges, a candy store, an ice rink, two rock climbing walls, a carousel, and a zip line. There are 2,759 rooms for customers to choose from, including a brightly colored 1,346 square foot family suite. Altogether, the ship boasts 24 water apparatuses, including pools, whirlpools, water slides, and surf simulators. There are seven different neighborhoods throughout the ship, including a central park with over 20,000 plant species. With all the Symphony of the Seas has to offer, passengers will never get bored with this ship, and you may even forget that you're on one. Number 4. The Pioneering Spirit The Swiss-designed crane vessel Pioneering Spirit, previously known as the Peter Schelte, is the world's largest construction ship. It was built in South Korea between 2011 and 2014 by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. Measuring 1,253 feet long and 407 feet wide, it was designed for the record weight installation of pipelines and the single lift installation and removal of large oil and gas platforms. In terms of gross tonnage, displacement, and breadth, Pioneering Spirit is the world's largest vessel. All Seas, the Swiss company that designed the Pioneering Spirit, has already announced plans to build an even bigger version of the ship. It will be called the All Seas Amazing Grace and is slated to debut in 2022. Number 3. RMS Queen Mary II The RMS Queen Mary II is the largest ocean liner ever built and the only passenger ship operating as an ocean liner. It's the flagship of the Cunard Line and went into service in 2004 as the planned replacement vessel for the aging Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Mary II is a 1,132-foot-long diesel-powered luxury ship that carries 2,691 guests, the one is important, and is staffed by an attentive crew of 1,292 employees. Whew, that's a lot. This vessel was designed for people who crave the finer things in life and who prefer a relaxing one or two week long transatlantic journey over the expediency of air travel. What about you? Let me know in the comments. The Queen Mary II is too large to dock in many ports, often requiring passengers to be ferried to and from the ship in smaller boats called tenders. Due to its size, the ship must circumnavigate around the southernmost tip of South America to cross between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, as it's too large to pass through the Panama Canal. Cunard had a choice between downsizing its plans for the Queen Mary so it could enter the Panama Canal, or stick with a larger ship for the sake of having a bigger passenger capacity. Since the ship only transits between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans once annually during its world cruise, Cunard opted for the latter option. Queen Mary II made its first world cruise in 2007, circumnavigating the globe in 81 days. Almost, almost just like Jules Verne. Would you want to go on a cruise around the world? Let me know in the comments. I know I would, but I'm kind of worried to not have internet. Number 2. REV Ocean in August, the world's biggest superyacht was launched at the Vartulshia shipyard in Romania. Owned by Norwegian billionaire Chel Inge Rakja, the 600-foot-long Rev Ocean seized the title from the 590-foot-long Azam, which was the world's biggest superyacht for the previous six years. Rakja is a fisherman turned billionaire with a net worth of over $2 billion. He wants to give back to society the bulk of what he has earned and is willing to spend his fortune to save the ocean. Unlike most yachts, the ocean was designed for scientific research missions rather than luxury cruising. In fact, Rakja started a nonprofit that goes by the same name as the ship and is dedicated to safeguarding the world's oceans. The ocean's missions will include research into unsustainable fishing, plastic pollution, and the effects of CO2 emissions on global waterways. Altogether, the ship will accommodate 55 scientists and 35 crew. It will be equipped with an array of scientific equipment, including an ROV, a submarine, scientific trawls, sonar systems, and classrooms and auditoriums. To help support the cost of its missions, the vessel will be available for charter. Even its owner, Rakia, expressed through his publicist that he plans to pay rent when he uses the ocean. 
From Romania, its next destination is Norway, where the ship will be outfitted and is expected to be finished by 2020. It was designed by Espen Oino, who designed some of the world's most luxurious and famous yachts. By the way, speaking of futuristic ships, have you heard of the Russian leader? This enormous nuclear icebreaker is kind of an opposing ideology to the ocean, but is also going to cost billions and is expected to be symbolic of Russia's post-Soviet Arctic conquest. This ship is made to go through the thickest Arctic ice with minimal maintenance and self-healing technology. Its purpose? To assist with drilling for oil in the Arctic. Which would you rather see? Which do you think is most symbolic of the future? The ocean or the leader? Number 1. The Yacht Express the Yacht Express is part of a fleet owned by a Dutch-owned company called Dockwise Yacht Transport, or DYT. Based in Fort Lauderdale, it's the world's only fleet that offers float-on and float-off yacht transport service. In addition to its unique boarding system, Yacht Express is the world's largest yacht carrier. It was christened and launched in 2007 and is 686 feet long, 106 feet wide, and has 55,057 square feet of dock space. The ship has a semi-submersible dock bay and can accept yachts of all classes. To load its cargo, the carrier's ballast takes on water, submerging the main deck enough for the yachts to simply sail aboard. Once the water is pumped out from the ballast, the yachts are welded down with special fittings to ensure that they remain in place throughout the voyage. The best part is, you can travel with your yacht and take advantage of the trip. Although, if you have a yacht, I'm assuming you're also flying to wherever you need to go on your private jet. Who am I kidding? The Yacht Express has media and fitness facilities, a restaurant, a swimming pool, a conference room, and complimentary cabins for ride aboard crew members of the yachts. Thanks for watching! Which one did you think was the most impressive? Let me know in the comments below! And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!